percent marks. I never got more than that. <laughs> and I was a very poor sports person. In fact, once my PE teacher saw me running, and he said, "Even if you run alone, you will come second." <laughs> Nothing went in, uh, was in my, in my favor. I did my first play, I was in, you know, every fifth standard or sixth standard, you do your play like right? you're not, a, you're not listening to me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we have a full house. <laughs> your show is a hit. <laughs> Can I give you a samosa or samosa? <laughs> Vibration coming from here. How much is he talking? <laughs> is everybody getting entertained or not? <laughs> I want to get congratulatory notes out. You are a super hit today. The people standing. This is not a tribute to me. It's a tribute to you. Okay, so can you just relax and listen here? Now you can put on his expression of listening. Reverse. <laughs> 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 Standard. You see, nothing happens in snow in a small town. How many of you are from smaller towns? Okay, so a lot of you must be knowing in smaller time life does not move, and you know everybody. By by the time you are seven years old, you know the whole town. So in fifth standard, we decided. I decided to do my first play. Not me. My teacher decided. So we had a teacher called Mrs. Bajaj. Are you under age? Mrs. Bajaj was a very bossy kind of teacher. And she chose a play called Prithviraj Chauhan. How many of you have heard of Prithviraj Chauhan? That's fantastic. Prithviraj Chauhan, the story of Prithviraj Chauhan, he was a Maharaja, one of the Maharajas of Rajasthan. And he fell in love with a princess called... Sayyukta. Sayyukta, fantastic. <laughs> Who that you? Very good. Sayyukta was Jaichan's sister. So in the play, I was Shukira Chauhan because the teacher said that you are the fairest guy in the class. <laughs> I don't know what was the criteria. I actually felt that she was, she gave me the main role because I had to carry her back to the school. I was a very chamcha type of a student. <laughs> so, in the play, I had to say a line with a sword which was heavier than me. I was very thin. I was so thin that I could see through a keyboard with both my eyes. <laughs> so I had to do this with my <laughs> with my sword and I should say, Chala ja, chala ja na bakwas kartu. And the Jachan, this Jachan person, his name was Nandikishore, Nandu. He was a Dudwala son. Dudwala is milkman son. So he was tagda, mota. He was very, very well built. But in the play, I was to win. <laughs> when the curtain went up, I saw a Kher family, my family on one side, and Nanda Kishore's family on the other side. So there was already a rivalry. <laughs> the Nanda Kishore's family was Taktagra, Muche, and this is an intellectual thin, uh, almost dying. <laughs> but the father had a very proud expression because he, I had rehearsed it at home so many times and he knew that I had to win. <laughs> so, play started. And I looked at my father and I'm directly doing the whole play towards him. Then the movement came and I had to say, Chala ja, chala ja na, bakwas kar tu nandu gir. So nandu fell down. Again I had to, he got up. Chala ja, chala ja na, bakwas kar tu nandu gir. He again fell down. Third time when I said, chala ja, chala ja, suddenly, from the audience, Nandu Kishore's father got up. <laughs> and he said, Nandu, ab ke gira to kharna hai. <laughs> understand Hindi. He said, if you fall down now, don't come back home. <laughs> Suddenly the whole equation of the play changed. <laughs> and Nandu started doing this. <laughs> Suddenly, this is the first time I've heard people saying in chorus, Nandu! <laughs> My family was petrified. <laughs> then the, the history changed. <laughs> Jaichand picked up Prithviraj Johan. <laughs> <laughs> 
So it was a disaster. <laughs> this whole theory about actors are born actors is bullshit. <laughs> Nothing. They are not born. You become one. Then I've cut my tongue. Why I'm saying all this thing to you? Because what has made me, uh, for whatever reason, what I am today is my never dying attitude. Never, I never let go of things. I do a play based on my life called Kuch Bhi Ho Sakta. It's about my disasters. Then I cut my tongue. I fell from a cliff and a stone went through my tongue. So I could not say curve. It was in ninth standard. Means I, I will say the. Ye tahan ja rahe ho. So I became Totala basically. <laughs> if I was still like that, I would have called my wife Tiran. <laughs> And I fell in love with that ninth standard with a girl called Kavita Kapoor. <laughs> in small town love, love and romance takes years to happen. <laughs> Just keep walking behind the girl. <laughs> you somehow move forward, then you sit down and sort of try. Then you again walk. <laughs> For six months, this was going on, and I was a totala, means I was, I could not say girl. And she was from a public, uh, this convent school. Now, Hindi medium school have a very major complex about convent girls, because they feel that they will never fall in love with them. But somehow, Kavita Kapoor was very charmed by my smile and my lock of hair at that time. <laughs> but I think she came to know that I can't say girl. So she called me in the in the canteen of the school. Now, like in Hindi film, heroine has very two three very uh, plain looking friends who are more interested in the hero than the girl itself. <laughs> They're constantly romancing with him. <laughs> so she sat down there and she decided to say that to me that Anupam say Kavita Kapoor I love you. <laughs> And I used to go home, I used to rehearse in my, this is a true, uh, true story, I used to rehearse sentences which did not have curve. So I would rehearse in a manner, in Hindi, I have to speak English for a long, long time. So I'll tell you about that also. So she kept saying, no, no, I, I said, I have heard my father once, but whenever my father gets angry with my mother, I don't know for what reason, he starts calling her darling. <laughs> so I said, darling, I love you. And the Hindi medium guy first translates his sentences in Hindi from Hindi to English. Then he rehearses in his mind and then he speaks, speaks his dialogue. So he says, no, no, no. You will have to say, Kavita Kapoor, I love you. So I said, Kapoor, I love you. <laughs> so finally I said, Kavita Kapoor, I don't love you. <laughs> so there's, a, there's a series of disasters which keep happening. And then... I ran away from home, uh, stole 100 rupees from my mother's temple to give an audition for a... That's what I am. But never gave up. Never, never gave up. Wanted to be different. This whole thing stemmed out of wanting to be different, wanting to be not part of a crowd, because there was no other way. Father was in the forest department, he retired as a clerk, a head clerk, he was earning about, let me convert into dollars, about 5 dollars a month, 200 rupees, and we had 14 people uh, in a small area like this. I'm not trying to uh, romanticize my bad days, but this is how uh, things happen. Then I came to Bombay after doing the drama school training. Now in Bombay in 1980s, you could not think of being bald and wanting to be in the movies. It was unheard of. And a lot of people told me, wear a wig. <laughs> Wear a wig, I will constantly be afraid of fans. <laughs> Anybody is looking into my eyes, I think he is looking at my wig. <laughs> so, I was not going to wear a wig. Never. Then I was, you know, this is a very sexy, dignified, bald look. <laughs> when you are losing hair, 
Initially, some do go from here. You know, people must be thinking what are you doing? Well done. So nobody said took me seriously, and my photographs because they were all drama pictures, they moved pictures from various plays that I had done. They were not clipped by Gautam Raja and Rakesh Reshta, who were the profile uh, photo shoot picture people kind of. But I never stopped. Continued, and the, then I exhausted my friends' houses. I used to go every weekend to somebody's house and ask them, "Khana khila do, let me eat at your, let me sleep." So after one year, they all said, "Okay, now please leave us alone." And my mother is also not very happy about it. So then I stayed stayed at the railway platform for about 27, 28 days. It may come across as a very strange uh, thing, but I'm telling you a story so that you discover. My point is to be different. You have to be different. From within, even though this is a crowd of hundred people or maybe more than that, but you are all individuals, and you will represent your family, your country, your people, and only when you think individually, then there is a possibility of may maybe maybe able to do something. So finally, uh, I did a film called Utsav. Have you heard of Utsav? Shashi Shashi Kapoor's film. There's a man constantly running in that film. That's me. <laughs> Whenever you see a man running, that that's supposed to be me. Uh -huh. Finally, Mr. Mahesh Bhatt, I went and met him. I said I was in a very bad shape. I had a broken relationship. The girl decided to marry somebody else because I was not making it. And uh, Mr. Bhatt told me, Yeah, yeah, I've heard a lot about you. You're a good theatre actor. I said you've heard wrong. I was pissed. I said you've heard I'm brilliant. I'm not good. We thought about it. He said, Okay, you are doing the main role in my next film. So I said, based on what he said, because you said I'm not good, I'm brilliant. So for a long time I thought he was just pulling my leg. It's not possible. Then he narrated to the script of Saranj. <coughs> Saranj is my first released film. I was 27 and I did a 65 year old. Have you? Has anybody seen Saranj? Fantastic. Makes me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> but life was not so easy. We were supposed to shoot the film from 1st of January 1984 and 20th of December 1983 a friend comes to my house and he says I have heard that you are not doing the main role in Saraj. This is after I have worked on the film for 6 months. And that is how to walk, what to say because it was a story of a father who loses his only son in New York uh, in a mugging incident and that's how the old man and his wife cope, cope up with the life. So I said, who told you? He said, because I went to the Rajshri production, the those are the producers, and they said that you are not doing it. Sanjeev Kumar is doing it. Sanjeev Kumar at that time was a big, huge star, big actor. So I called up Mr. Mahesh Bhatt and I said, uh, you know, the people are just saying strange rumors. I've heard that uh, I'm not doing the, the lead role and uh, Sanjeev Kumar is doing it. And he was very casual about it. He said, yeah, because the producer decided to have me in somebody as an established actor, not a newcomer, so uh, I have taken him, but don't worry, you do the other old man's role. He was so careless and casual about it, that I decided to leave that city. I said, I am not going to stay in this city, this is not the city for me. And I will go and become a teacher somewhere, I am a drama school student, a student, I was a teacher before I came to college. So this is what I will do. So I packed my luggage. And I was moving towards BT station and I discovered thought that I must go and tell Mahesh, Mahesh Bhatt what I think of it. Because now I have nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather used to say when you want to be equal with anybody, just don't expect anything from him or her. When you don't expect anything from the person, then you can be equal. So now I was on the same ground as Mahesh Bhatt was. Mahesh Bhatt was sitting with Shabana Azmi and Mark Zubair. At that. So I entered his house and he says, fantastic Anupam, this is the sportsman spirit, this is the way you should deal with your life. You, are, you have accepted to do the other old man's role, which was a side kind of a role. Not a bad role, but I was prepared for the main role. I said, no, no, Mr. Bhatt, come. I took him to the window and I showed him my cap with my luggage. I said, I'm leaving the city. Uh, come, you, come to tell you. Now, I'm not going to repeat whatever I'm talking But ma ki, behen ki, you are the biggest. Be honest. I said, you're the biggest fraud on earth. You talk about commitment, 
Sanjeev, you talk about cinema, you talk about Crandello, you talk about Lorca, you talk about Arthur Miller and Shakespeare. But actually, you are a very petty man. You don't have the... <laughs> you stick to your conviction. <laughs> Silent language is too. <laughs> I said, you don't have the guts. That was not the word. But. Uh, even on my shoot, 
uh, over here. They find ये कुछ अजीब आदमी है ये नॉर्मल तरीके से बात करता है because I want to be comfortable with myself I don't want to if you don't get impressed with me it's all right with you means life will not come to a standstill you will still go and hopefully see a movie which if it is good and say that oh he came and he did not speak so the moment I do not it doesn't matter to me what you think of me I can be I can be very friendly I can be chatty with you I can uh, speak to you about anything, but the individuality in you will make you a personality. What is a personality according to? Is a person who is comfortable with yourself. That is personality. Personality is not success. There are so many personalities you see on television, and you say, "Oh my God, this man is lying. This man is telling the truth." It's a very basic instinct you react to. You meet somebody on the in the corridor, and you say, "I," you just pass through. It. Hardik to you. 
and tell me how wrong I am. I'm not a magician, but this is what happened. He's a genuine guy, I believe. There's a certain amount of genuineness in him. But sometimes he wants to project the genuineness too much. That I think you should stop. Because that, just because you have a tag of being genuine, you don't have to be genuine constantly. Because in your heart you are genuine. Okay? And you said you have a quality, which is, what was the quality you said? You know what you want. This is professionally or emotionally? <laughs> <laughs> emotionally, what do you want right now? I mean, not at the moment. Uh, and they start their guests to where they have to go. 